In this video, I'll show you how to use the custom format property of the T-Link property to field component in live bindings to combine two columns from a data set into a T-Label or some other user interface control. Let's start by creating a new project. Say File, New, uh, C++ Builder, FireMonkey, Desktop App. We'll put down a SQL, data, SQL connection component. And we'll use an interbase database as our database. Then we'll right mouse click and use the live binding wizard to connect a data source to a grid using that SQL connection. So we'll have a string grid, bind source DB Express. It knows we've got a SQL connection component, so we can choose that. And we'll do a query, select star from customer, could test the SQL command. Let's add a navigator. And now we have a navigator and a bind source DBX and a grid. Let's put two labels down. And we'll set this to be our selected customer. And we'll put another label down. And in here, we're going to connect visually in the light by new designer to the contact first name. So now we have the first name, but what we want to do is combine the first and last name of the contact for the customer. And the way we do that is we can select the label, go to the link property to field under live bindings for that. It has the field name. There's also this property called custom format. So we have several options to, that we can use for expression strings that we can put inside the custom format property. There are three different ways that we can combine uh, two columns of a data set, for example, using the custom format property. And I've put those strings into a notepad just to save time. Uh, the first one is very verbose, and it says just whatever the current, the current binding is, take the contact first name, the text property of it, concatenate a space to separate the first and last name, and the contact last column. A little less uh, verbose, we can say take the current field that's bound, as a string, put a space, and take the last name column. And if the column name has a string that is not a valid field name, then you can always do field by name, the name of the column. So for example, if you had a column heading in a data set that had spaces in it, well, that's not, a, that's not gonna be a valid expression name. So we can always say field by name and put in quotes the name of the column, get the text property. So let's try all three and see what they look like at design time. So we'll put this in the custom format property. And now we have the name Dale J and Little uh, inside of the label. We can go and take the second form. And again, put that form in, which has the percent %s. So it's going to take the whatever the field name is that's already bound and then add the rest of the expression. And again, that one works. We still have the first and last name. And the last choice is the percent %s for the field we're currently bound to, and then the field by name of the column, the text property. And sure enough, at runtime, as well as at design time, uh, we get the concatenation of the first name and the last name from the contact fields of the database. So that's how easy it is to use the custom format property under the link property to field where you've bound one column already and you want to take and bind additional columns to concatenate the text values and put those in a user interface control. All with Visual Live Bindings Designer, the Live Bindings Wizard, and DB Express.